the um, thought about Buddhism in America, I um, realized that um, sometimes monasticism is not very um, attractive to Westerners because uh, so many complicated um, issues go with monasticism, especially sexism, where the men and the women were treated differently, and um, the emphasis on uh, the development of the male, the monks, and disregard for the nuns, and also the, the structure of the monastery, how the monastery can be uh, surviving in the 21st century. So many issues go with it. Um, I, I don't know how to solve it. So I decided that um, instead of creating the monastery and, the, and perpetuate the tradition that have been held for ages, for centuries, I decided that maybe I can uphold that, that tradition in a different way and that I create a temporary Sangha, meaning um, lay people can become monks and nuns for a short time, maybe uh, seven days, 12 days, 14 days. Uh, right now we have someone who become a, who is a nun, become a nun, but only for three months. We have one among all the, the left home. We call left home people, or we call um, the Sangha, the temporary Sangha members. But my ideal is to help people to um, give you the greatness of spiritual practice and that people understand that Buddhism have to adapt to Western culture, uh, adapt to the 21st century, and the more important is how Buddhism can stand apart from what we call cultist organization and from the ways that uh, we can hold the traditions, we can perpetuate the values the traditions has, and people can live a, a, a life that like the monks and nuns a very short time, so they can truly understand the difficulties the monks and nuns in the past have gone through. They can also understand the beauty of being a monk or a nun. And the most important thing is, is we take the ancient values, we take the lifestyle of it, preserve it, we use it, we practice it in a very short time. Um, of course, it, we never be able to fathom the depth of that kind of tradition, but at least people, every year they come back, they experience it, and they go out, they look at monks and nuns, they interact, and they have more respect to the tradition. And because of that, we preserve Buddhism in a different approach. And people can really learn the, the, the path of kindness and compassion with the basic of Buddhism and the values of forgiveness. And I think that is, is very much the dynamics why um, I, I want to create the temporary Sangha. And beyond that, we find that after many years, this is the 10th year, it's such a bonding of family kind of feelings. And beyond that, also the feeling that we find home, we find we connected, we find we connected not because we are Vietnamese, because there are Taiwanese, there are Japanese, and there are Americans, but we connected with some universal values that maybe in this century, in this culture, in this very particular America, we did not emphasize enough. And that is family value, is about honesty, about compassion, about kindness, about self-improvement, self-reliance. Those are the beautiful values that we, I mean Americans, we have been cultivated for ages. It's not something new, but aligned with the Buddhist value where we believe so much in the, the, the practice of forgiveness, tolerance. I make a lot of mistakes, but I improve and I looking forward for, with optimism. And I like that with the young generations where uh, many of us, many young, young people come to me and they cry with me because they make mistakes. They don't know how to change. Um, and not only the young people, maybe couples. And perhaps um, I can say that some of the older generation, we want to change our lives and we don't know how to do it. And we don't, we don't want just always beating us down with the past. The mistake in the past have gone. We need to move on. And so um, the temporary Sangha uh, practice is a way to say that, hey, let's have a closure with the past, 
Let's look at the future with optimism and move on. Let's practice something very idealistic and believe in our endowment. And therefore, the kind of um, practice you see here is very humane. It is not something that you think about, we make up a value. It, no, it's very much um, rooted within our American values as well as the Buddhist values.